Hi guys, I'm Darren, PGA Professional at Halifax West End Golf Club. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you're well. Do you want to make a standard golf grip into a plus four? If you do, stick around and watch this video. So Golf Pride over the last few years have developed the grip which is called the plus four. And I use them myself, um, find them very, very useful, especially with um, the, the lower hand, um, takes a little bit of a pressure out of it. Um, but you are limited to the grips that you can use. So if your favorite grip didn't come in a plus four, how would you make that grip into a plus four? I recently had this conversation with somebody on the channel and who was very interested in making a standard grip into a plus four. So a little bit of conversation happened, but it gave me this idea today to bring this video to you. So. I hope you can then bring the plus fours into the grips that you like. You know, Golf Pride do cover quite a lot of bases with it. You know, they've got the, the multi-compound option. They've got the Golf Pride Tour Velvet. They have the CPX, which I do use myself. So, you know, they have quite a few. So if you go to some of the other brands or you've already got standard grips on your clubs and you want to give them a try, you know, I'm just going to take you through how you would make a standard grip into a plus four. So we've got this club all clean, so that's a good starting point. So I'll set it in the vise. So I have marked it for the full length of the grip. I wouldn't normally do that for a, a standard re-gripping uh, because my dispensers dispense out the right amount that you don't get in the overlap. But now we've got to take into consideration where your hand is so if you imagine that you grip it at the top and your right hand's at the bottom so you think about where your right hand is and mark it at either side then that way you can take a, a packing tape and put it around that lower hand position. Obviously it is plus four so we need four layers and what I would do ever so slightly especially in the lower section is just let it go a little bit longer each time so you get a tapering at the end of the grip and the other thing to remember of this one I've just thought right there was you need to keep a note of the number of layers you've put on because it's very easy to Forget one and make it a plus five. So whether you need to write it down on a piece of paper um, or or something like that, but if you if you can remember, then great. So we've now got four additional layers on this lower hand. So now now it would just be a standard regrip. So you've now got a golf grip which was standard and is now plus four in the lower hand and that's how I would go about building up grips to make them different layers in different parts. So obviously if you want it to be a little bit thicker at the top just make the process at the top. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I hope you found it really useful if you are interested in club repairs and making them standard grips into plus four, plus five, plus six, whatever whatever you want um, you can, it's the same process, it's just a different number of layers. Um, if you are um, interested in club repairs and you want to know how to re-grip clubs step by step I will give this video a go um, next. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to welcoming you on my next video.